Well, thank you very much, Dema. So I'm going to have with me today in studio Dr. Prosper Komi Begedu. A few hours ago, we used to call you Mr. Begedu. Now you are Dr. Begedu. You're welcome to studio. Thank you. Can, Can you next? please introduce yourself to viewers? As you said, my name is uh, Prosper Komi Begedu. Yes. And that is it. Well, we will say you are aspiring because you just presented your, you defended your thesis today. Yes. That is the main reason why you are in studio with us. Can you just talk to us about the theme you've chosen for your defense? Thank you. Um, the topic of my dissertation is yes. incest and characterization in post Harlem Renaissance African American fiction, a study of selected novels by Tony Morrison. James Baldwin, Alice Walker, and Sapphire. Yeah, so what really inspired you to choose uh, a topic like this, especially on this crucial social issue, incest? Yes, I have decided to work on such a topic because when I was a student in third year, after reading Tony Morrison's The Blue West Eye, I was shocked by the fact that a girl who is Pecola was victimized by her own father who was supposed to protect her and i said to myself that if at all i'll have an opportunity to conduct a research i will focus on that topic because it is not absent in our communities but it is well it is not spoken about in many instances just because of the taboo related or uh, attached to it and the secrecy that is attached to it so uh, this is an opportunity for me to bring it out to the surface yeah. so that people will be informed that it is not absent, it is there, but only that people are not talking about it. Yes. So, Dr. Begedu, before we uh, have the report on what happened today, I, will, I would like to ask you one question. What was the atmosphere uh, before the presentation of your dissertation? <laughs> that is that is a very uh, good question to me. Yes. It is true that you know, uh, behind any dissertation there is a long story, yes. and it has been a long journey. Yeah. And uh, the hours before the presentation were not that easy because there was a, a mixture of fear and even <laughs> courage. But you know, it was a great atmosphere and it was a great experience for us yeah. because you know you know what you've done and you are able to defend it because it is coming from you and that yeah. was what was giving us courage and to know that we'll be able to make it well in front of the jury uh, this afternoon it was at one o'clock we had uh, dr prosper begedu and uh, behind him his whole family friends and well wishes demas songwe was there also let's have his report It's a particular day for Mr. Komi Prosper Begedu. He can now bear the title of doctor. His doctoral defense took place today in the presence of his colleagues, parents, and friends. The theme of the dissertation was incest and characterization in post Harlem Renaissance African American fiction, a study of selected novels by Tony Morrison, James Baldwin, Alice Walker, and Sapphire. The members of the examination board appreciated the work. This is a fantastic piece of scholarship. The candidate has done a great job of defending his dissertation. The topic that he has treated is of uttermost importance. And I think the issue of incest is crucially important in our society these days. So what he has done is great, and that dissertation deserves to be read by as many people as possible. This document of 302 pages is a personal research dealing with social issues. Well, Dr. Pigedu is really a social issue, a social issue we need to address, even on TV and on radio, but you've addressed it in your, in your dissertation. What is incest? Now, you can, can you just define it and give us some examples of it? Yes, incest can be defined as sexual intercourse between two people who are closely related yes. and who are not allowed to get married legally. Yeah. It can take place between a father and a daughter, a mother and a son, brothers and sisters from the same family. 
and um, incest can be overt or covert. When incest is overt, it involves sexual intercourse. Yes. At times, inter- incest may not be overt. It, it, at that time, it is covert. Then, it is uh, emotional and verbal. We can so if a father cannot necessarily commit sexually have a sexual intercourse with doctor. his daughter, but uh, with some words, some touches, and other things, the action can be considered as incestuous. So it will depend. On the circumstances, on the cultures, and uh, the definition will be maybe you know broadened depending on the situation in which we are. Yeah. So let me ask you uh, just a, a small question. Well, so do you think this incest exists in our society in Togo? Here in Togo, let's bring it down to Togo, because uh, you talk about uh, novel novelists like uh, uh, Tony Morrison's uh, Blue Eyes and so on. But now let's come back to the Togolese society. Do you think within the Togolese society we have people we have this kind of uh, uh, we have this kind of negative attitudes in people's in the, the Togolese uh, society? Thank you for the question. In fact, um, this topic incest is not absent in any society. But the only problem is that it is not openly addressed just yes. because of the taboo attached to it, as I said before. So no society is an exception. But because of um, the secrecy attached to it, people are not ready to voice it. Even sometimes when it takes place in some families, the family members would like to settle it in the family. They would not like to, you know, someone, the person to be caught or anything, they would like to solve the problem in the family, just because yeah. they don't want to have a bad reputation of the family and the community. So that is why it is not well voiced, but it does not mean it is absent. It yeah. is there, but not well spoken about. Yeah, so for you, we have to speak about it, we have to bring it out, we have to, what do you think can be done? To people who are involved in such a vice. Um, thank you very much. You know, there are many people who can play either a direct role or indirect role in the perpetration of yes. incest. Um, the, 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 the person at the, you know, higher position or superior state can um, um, lead the other one who is at an inferior stage or position by forcing him sometimes mm. to have that kind of sexual intercourse. So what we think that should be done is that the perpetrators of incest needs to be punished and needs to be judged when it is necessary. And apart from that also they need to be helped because sometimes some of them are sick psychologically. And then the need to be helped by the community members and the victims of incest. It is true that they are victims, but they should not fold their hands and think that it is finished for them. Yeah. They need to be courageous. They need to take their destiny into their hands, fight for survival, because the downfall of the person is not the end of his life. Yes. While there is life, there should be hope. Well, uh, Doctor Begeduke, how do you, how have you really portrayed? this attitude in your uh, your dissertation can you just give us some examples basing on the novels you've used in your yeah. dissertation to really bring out this negative attitude in society thank you very yes. much uh, i use four novels for yes. my study the first one is the brewers i published in 1970 by tony morrison and in that book the perpetrator is uh, called charlie breedlove and the victim is Pecola. What is interesting in that situation is that the father who is supposed to protect the girl yeah. is the one perpetrating incest with her. And uh, this is not well, but the, 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 since the topic was absent for yeah. quite a long period, Tony Morrison has used some specific techniques to address the issue. The second novel that we've considered is James Baldwin's Just Above My Head, published in yeah. 1979. Mm-hmm. There, there is a father named Jewel, a, a Jewel yes. and uh, the, 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 the daughter named Julia. The third one is uh, uh, The Color Pepper, written by Alice Walker and published in 1982. Mm-hmm. And in that novel, the perpetrator is Alfonso. Alfonso, Alfonso yes, yes. And the victim is Sally. 
and the last one is push the victim is uh, precious and uh, the perpetrator is calm but in all these instances you see that the average age of the victims is between 10 and 12 that means they are little girls mm. and that is uh, what we can call a child abuse uh, child sexual abuse and uh, what is crucial and interesting in that it is not this does not happen to these girls by outside it outside mm. it is by people who are supposed within to within their family within their families yeah and um, uh, so it has been a, an opportunity for us to condemn or to denounce such practices in our yeah. communities and on the other hand also to help those who are victims of such horrible things to believe in themselves and to know that a way out is possible yes. and they need to be strong enough. So uh, you, you presented about uh, a document of about more, a, a document more than 300 pages. What are some of the challenges you faced in pu putting, in piling up all those information for us to really bring out? Thank you very much. It has been a work of about four years. Yeah. Because um, it is not easy, as you said, because we are in a French-speaking country, and uh, to write a, a something, a piece of work like this in English is difficult because the materials are not always available. Mm. So you have to travel sometimes to go to Ghana. Sometimes you have to ask your friends who are in the states or England to send you books. Sometimes you go to your elders and your, to your teachers to ask them to, you know, give you some of their material. So it is actually the problem of material the availability of material yes. because we don't have a library in such a way that will like, allow you to get materials and will help you to go further in the way so yeah. this is the main challenge and also it takes courage to start to continue and to complete such a work because you write something a day and after some days you, you think have to that change it is not good change. yes and also your right your, 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 your instructors will say oh this is not good you have to change it they'll ask you so many questions and if you are not courageous you are not humble <laughs> and you are not patient you start you, you, where you cannot you, you end up retiring yeah you <laughs> end up retiring because it is not easy better it is not impossible. Well, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Begidou. Well, I know you may, I might have some special thanks to people who really supported you today. Yes. Um, even before thanking these people, it is an opportunity for me just to say that these people should understand that it is the responsibility of everybody to fight against this vice yeah. in our communities. And I would like to thank my supervisor and advisor, Professor Komla Mensan Mubo, for his patience, his love, and uh, his engagement and his help for the success of this work. And I would also like to thank my wife and my son and everybody yeah. who has contributed in the way or the other in making this work a success. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Bikidu. I hope uh, you'll be with us anytime we call on you. Yes. This is your second time of coming. Yes. Well, viewers, we thank Mr. Dr. Begedu so much for coming to studio today to really express himself on uh, this dissertation that he's presented only today, between one o'clock and four o'clock. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank viewers, you very much. Yeah, thank you for following this program. I hope to be with you again next week. Have a nice weekend.